Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Cell First Form. Uh, I really want another Perfect Cell. Can we do a quick question of the day? I think we will. Do you guys want a new version of Perfect Cell? I want one that's taller and much beefier. The original release is so scrawny. It's un unimpressive. Okay, so yeah, this figure is actually a really strong release. It's one of the better ones we've seen recently, and it comes out of the Vietnam factory, so that's interesting. I'm starting to think that that's not going to be an issue going forward, but uh, only time will tell. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands, I'm going to go to like right here, because this wouldn't be for scale purposes, it wouldn't be helpful. Uh, about 17 centimeters, that's just to the the little dip in his crown hat helmet thingy. That's going to be about six, let's say six and three quarter inches. Um, I do measurements for scaling purposes, so you guys can do your calculations based on other figures you have if they are going to be in scale. I don't think most people actually care about the overall height. One person said, I don't know if figures will fit in my display based on the way you measure them. If it's that close, you should probably have a bigger display or it's not gonna look good. That's just like, you don't want it to be cramped. Okay, so here he is up against the Marvel Legends figure. They're pretty close to the same size. But before we get into the rest of the review, we have to talk about today's sponsor, which is, as you might guess, Into the AM. They are the graphic t-shirt people. That's what I call them. That's not what they call them. I think graphic tees are their bread and butter. That's why we're talking about them today. They have new designs. This is one of them. It's called Sakura something or other. It has the, the cherry blossoms going on here and then mountains and stuff. It's very Japanese-ish. I like it a whole bunch. This is my wife's favorite one, by the way. So for those of you who are trying to impress the ladies, if your ladies are like my wife, they, they might like it. Uh, this is another one of their new designs. This one's a little bit more subdued, not all the neon colors. I would like to see a version of this with neon colors, but I really liked the grayscale and like the star pattern inside the astronaut. Can you see that? You can see that. Super cool. So yeah, if you're not into the very bright colors on black, they do have other options. I just happen to prefer those. They have a lot of cool new designs, so you want to check those out. And one of the things they wanted me to show you, they sent me this. They have snapbacks now. So it has their logo right here. And then this one's just solid black. And then it has green down here. Uh, they have other ones that have like uh, nebulous type patterns and stars and stuff like that on there. Uh, nice snapback here. Uh, they're really high quality, if you see that. That gives you a little more info about them. Uh, I just, I can't put it on because it'll just look bad because I'm too big. I'm 6'5", I have a large head. I think it fits my body, but whatever. Hats don't fit me unless I get oversized large people hats. So even if I put it all the way like this, like it'll definitely fit on my head, technically speaking, but it'll look goofy as hell. And I wouldn't want to do them a disservice <laughs> or myself or your eyeballs. So I'm not going to do that, but they are nice hats. Um, they're super high quality. It just won't fit me because I need special sizes for my head. But yeah, they have awesome t-shirts. They are by far the best graphic t-shirts I own. I own like 20 of them now. I just keep getting more. Since I gained some weight after the baby, I had to get different sizes of things I already own. So I have even more. But um, yeah, I love these shirts. They're awesome. I recommend them. You guys keep buying them and telling me how much you love them. So I'm going to keep taking the sponsorships. It's a perfect pairing. And so yeah, check them out. They have new designs. They do sell out sometimes pretty quickly, but they are constantly restocking and they're still restocking the older designs too. So if you like those, you can check those out and it's just perfect. They're always having bundle deals and things like that. You can subscribe and get random shirts and save even more that way. It's the same usual spiel, but this time I want to tell you about the new designs and the hat. So go check them out. The link is in the description below. You can save some money using my discount code. And if you get something, let me know. Or if you already got something and haven't said so, let us know in the comment section below. But yeah, into the AM, the best t-shirts I own, graphic t-shirts, uh, all t-shirts really, but graphic tees are the thing. And now the only hat I own. So check them out. All right, so here's the thing. I think, you know, they always skew tall and big characters down a little bit and little characters up a little bit. And so that's all fine. But I think he should be a little bit leaner, a little bit taller. This guy's too averaged out, I think. It's not a huge deal breaker or anything like that, but I think he should be skinnier and taller. I'll post the reference image on there. I think it would look a lot nicer if he was. Uh, let's go ahead and just dive into the aesthetic. This guy does not have a matte finish almost anywhere, but I think it works because he's supposed to look like a bug and an android. And so a little bit of sheen on him is okay. They have the, the blue thingies 
fairly shiny. All of the green is kind of a satin. Basically everything's kind of a satin, except the dark spots inside the wings and on the underside of the tail. I think that looks okay. I'm all right with, oh, all the little dark spots too. I think it looks fine. I'm okay with it. A little bit of shading here in the torso. That's a little bit strange, but it also looks pretty cool. It gives a, gives a little bit of life to the character. Uh, I think it looks good overall, aside from, like I said, I think it should be a little lankier. Um, I also wouldn't mind if the two different greens were a little bit more different. They're pretty close. I'd like to see that change just a little bit, but it still looks solid. There's a little bit of shading on the back of his head bulb back here too. Uh, I like it. I think it's a pretty strong release. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. There's some cool things they did with the engineering, which we'll talk about when we get into the articulation. But yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with it. They did the slightly off-white eyes. There's a little bit of pinkish coloring going on in there, so that's good. Everything's nice and clean. I like it. It looks nice. It's so much better than, like, say, the teen or young armored Gohan. It, it, that's a bad figure. This one's a good one. I'm going to give this one aesthetically... Um, I'm going to go 9. It's pretty good. Like, I, the, the scaling issue, like the height, the lankiness, it's almost not fair to even count because they don't make them all, they don't make them accurate on purpose so that they're not like, cr it's going to be too hard to make the tiny figures and the big figures at reasonable sizes for the same line. So they have to kind of uh, lean towards the center. So I'm not too upset about it, but I would like a little bit more lank out of somebody like this guy. I'm going to say lank as if it's a proper descriptor. So yeah, it looks pretty good. As far as accessories go, we have different head pieces so that you can have slightly different expressions. And then you get different face pieces. So you have the neutral face that comes on them in the package, then you get a smiling one, you get a smiling one with the eyes off to the side just a little bit. Seems like a waste of a head piece, but that's okay. Then we get the yelling head piece. Mine has some kind of problem going on with the nose. That's not okay. I keep having bad QC problems on my figures and it's really frustrating me. Anyway, we get that. Uh, we get a bunch of fist or a bunch of hands. We have the fist hands that come out in the package. We get the kind of relaxed hands, slightly gripping relaxed ends, kind of clenchy hands, and then wide open hands. And then you do have alternate ends for his tail. You have the pointy version, and then you have the uh, Hoover version. So that's pretty good. The only thing we're missing really is a flight stand or a display stand, uh, like they show on the back of the package. I'll grab that real quick. I don't like that. Just include it. Just include it, or don't show it. Okay, so um, eight out of 10 for accessories. It should be nine, but mine has a weird splotch on his nose and that's bothersome. So I'm gonna leave it at eight. Okay, for articulation, very pleased to say that the head to neck, to neck, to neck, to torso, that whole section is just ball pegs. So you can move it around however you want, whenever you want, with no effort at all. It's very, very nice. Very happy to see that. Works wonderfully. It's getting a little stiff. That'll happen depending on what kind of plastics they use. If that happens to you, just put a little bit of silicon oil in there. It'll help. Like um, You can look up RC shock oil if you want, um, but any sort of silicone based oil will be okay. Um, don't use things like soap. I've had people recommend that. Do not put dish soap on your action figures. His neck's getting really tight after me moving it around, so that guy definitely needs to be lubed up. But the design is good, so I like that. We'll get to the shoulders in a second. First, I want to talk about the wings. They have a hinge, and that's fine. But the hinge is connected by just the tiniest little tab, and they pop off way too easily. Like, I get that's good for not breaking the figure, but also they just pop off way too easily. So, I'm just going to take them off so that they're not in the way. Uh, that should be just a bigger peg. I don't know why they made it so small. I want to talk about the tail before we get into anything else. It's nice that they articulate the tail, but also it's not because the... I'd say just give us a sculpted tail and give us a different sculpted tail if there's like a specific pose or something that you're trying to achieve. Because to me, these big ball hinges in the middle of sculpted segments, it doesn't look good. It's, it looks weird. It's okay. I don't care for it. Especially since it's two-tone on this guy's tail. It, it's not a great look. And having a curve here and then a bend. like. I don't know, it just seems so useless. I'm gonna almost never pose it just because it looks so weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang it down and basically leave it like that. 
so that it, it looks semi reasonable from the front and and just never touch it probably uh, this connects on a ball peg back here which is okay if you stick it back too far he just can't stand up he leans far too far back so you want to probably bring it down like that and probably just do something like that and just leave it alone that's what i'm gonna do probably so it's a little bit of a bummer i don't know like what do you guys think about tails do you want articulation in them would you rather they just have this is how i think they should be done they should be one solid sculpt and at the peaks of the curves just a swivel and that way it doesn't break the curve uh, they've done that on frieza i think in the past but like right here just make it a swivel yeah you're gonna have the black issue where it's two-tone but you're gonna have that anyway so at least that way you don't have ball hinges that make it like actually break the look. So at least this one's in a good spot. This one's okay. I don't like where this one is. Eh, it's okay. It's, it's, it's whatever, I don't really care. It's a tail, it's gonna just be in the background. Okay, so let's talk about the shoulders. Butterfly joint like we've never seen before. First I'll mention the shoulder pads though. They're on a little hinge and ball peg combo so that they can get out of the way for posing. That's a really good thing. Now the shoulders are really offset on this butterfly. And it's a very strange thing. The butterfly loops around. That green part is the hinge, but the blue part is the actual butterfly joint. It loops all the way around that green part. And it looks goofy from back here if you go all the way around, but it is probably the most functional butterfly joint we've ever seen. And other than, other than when you look from back here, it's actually not bad looking. It's obviously a butterfly joint that, and they don't look good, but it works really, really well. I'll try to do it from this angle. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It might be a little <laughs> over-engineered, but it's okay. It works. And then when the shoulder's in place, obviously you get your full rotation and you can move the shoulder pad to get that. I like that, that's good. Bicep swivel, it's a little stiff, but it's okay. No problems, double jointed elbow works nicely. Wrists are on little ball hinges, that's always fine. You do get articulation in the torso. It's not the best, but it leans side to side, or at least it wiggles a little bit. I'm not sure if it is actually meant to lean, but it does lean forward and back some. So that's forward. It's kind of tricky to handle. It's very little, to the point where I'm not sure if it's even supposed to technically have it. But it does, so like that's back. And that's forward, it's pretty tight. But it does do something. So I'm not sure that was worth it. <laughs> it's very little range, but it's there, so that's cool. Then down here we just have a couple ball pegs and a floating piece. So that's where you're gonna get most of your twisting and leaning. I think they should have put the joint down here underneath this green piece rather than in between these two green pieces. The orange to green transition would have been way better. Granted the tail's in the way, but not really. So they should have just done that, I think. For the hips, I can't quite tell what's in there. It looks like it's a hinged ball peg that has very little range and then a ball peg down here and then the blue is just a floating piece. So I'll just show you the range because that's what's most important anyway. Going out to the side, these guys flex a little bit, so that's good. But you get that far, which isn't a ton, but it's probably gonna be enough. And then bringing the leg forward, not a ton. And going back, not a ton either. It's pretty limited, so that's not great. You do get a thigh swivel. That sounds like it's getting the same problem that the neck had. This guy needs to be lubed up. That's not great. Eventually, those joints could either become very loose or stuck. Double jointed knee works nicely, no problem there. One of the better looking knees we've seen. And then for the ankles, it's a double ball peg, which it's okay for this guy, it works, but you still get very limited range. And just that whole blue part that's in there, design wise, should have just turned into a ball hinge. That would have been way better for range. It's pretty limited as is. So yeah, it's not the greatest thing for posing, even though he's tall and lanky. There are some things that are really good on here and then other things that are just blah. So, eh, I'll give the articulation on this guy. I guess I'll go, s I'm gonna go seven. It's too limited in some places. The uh, torso shouldn't be as limited as it is. The wings shouldn't fall off as easily as they do. Hips aren't as good as they could be torso. Yeah, there's a lot of problems. Not huge problems, but problems nonetheless. So, 
Articulation is not as strong as it definitely should have been, but you'll be able to get the poses you want probably. So final verdict on this release. I like it a lot. There are definitely some problems here and there. Get some lube and it'll be better. And yeah, I don't know. It's like we're in this weird place where some of their figures are great. Some of their figures are terrible and then other ones make you wonder why they're not better, but they're good enough. And that's kind of where this one is. I like it personally as a reviewer. I feel like it's not quite as much as good as I want it to be. I'm just going to go eight. It poses well enough. It has decent enough accessories and it looks pretty good. It could be better, but it's not bad, especially up against other figures like Gohan that I just reviewed. It's a lot better. So I'm going to give it an eight. I feel comfortable with that. And you guys can let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below. There it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.